Kink Live is brought to you by Intel. Please welcome to the Bing Lounge, Stuart Davis. Hello. Hi, just a boy in the city, as, he, as Stuart Davis was telling me. Welcome to Portland. He wants all kinds of uh, ideas on what to do because actually your CD release uh, for the new album doesn't come up until Friday at Mount Tabor Theater. Two days to two days behave. to wreck havoc <laughs> in this weird old Miss city. Misbehave and recover. On Friday. <laughs> and then you got that Music Millennium in store. Yep, that's right. That's Saturday. Yeah. So technically, yeah. I could do two cycles of misbehaving and recovering. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you've parked yourself uh, right here at a hotel in the heart Strategically of downtown. Strategically placed in the yeah. heart of downtown. So, so uh, we're going to have a meet and greet with you, and then please suggest all kinds of wonderful things, and he'll make a list. We'll, look, we'll try to keep you busy here in Portland. <laughs> I love your town already. Yeah. So you're, you're originally a Minneapolis boy. I am. I was born in, uh, well, I was born in Des Moines, but I moved to Minneapolis when I was like six months old. Mm -hmm. And then lived there and had my musical upbringing as well in Minneapolis. So from yeah. the time I was about one until 10 years ago, I lived in Minneapolis and play, you know, recorded my first 11 albums in Minneapolis. And Are you kidding me? 11 no, albums? That's really prolific. Well, I have 15 now, but I really, <laughs> honestly, like the first seven were definitely do-overs. <laughs> um, so they're not all good by any means, but I did live there for most of my life. And then 10 years ago, I moved to Boulder, Colorado, which is actually from, I've only been here for a few hours, but it feels very familiar. This feels like if you put Boulder and Denver together on a beautiful body of water, this yeah. would be a similar emotional experience. You're yeah. kind of doing this river tour, as you called it, Madison, water. Minneapolis, and now Portland. Uh, you know you can swim in our Willamette River. You can? You can, contrary really? to popular belief. Does anything happen if you, you do? You have a lot of fun. In fact, I want to invite you to stick around through Sunday, because you don't have to be anywhere until like the next week, That's right? That's right. Stick around for a thing called the Big Float. The big float? It, Everyone gets in the river? Yes. I'm, are we I'm, naked? I'm, I'm, nope. You can't have a powered. You can't have a powered inner tube or anything. You have to have an inner tube, or oh. you could do a canoe or kayak or anything. But it's all about raising awareness for the fact that yes, you can swim in the Willamette. That's so a cool. great idea. Yeah, so you know, you're the only city that I know of doing that right now. So yeah. your river may be unusually clean. Well, uh, thanks to a huge giant project. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all about raising awareness that yes, you can. That so, sounds fun. Stuart, I I if you love the river, you got to do that on Sunday. I have a swimmer's haircut. Yeah. So. Well, let's let's get back to what you do musically. Uh, but actually, you're kind of Mr. Hyphen Man, writer, director, actor, comedian, songwriter, and maybe sometimes you are a waiter. I don't know. I'm going <laughs> to be one day. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite hyphen? <laughs> um, I am right now in the music slash TV hyphen. I have a uh, my day job is definitely music and has been and will continue to be you know the real focus of my life. But I have a TV show that's also a musical related kind of musical comedy show that's called Sex God Rock and Roll, and we just finished airing season two of that on HDNet, which is becoming Access TV. And it's like a kind of musical rock and roll version of The Daily Show or SNL. And so it's music focused, but it's sketches and stuff. So right now it's mostly music and TV, but um, I, I do, I mean, I just have a omnidirectional curiosity and I like to try things, especially that I'm not good at too. So I do paint and, you know, I would never make a living as a painter, nor do I want to, but I love it. It's very therapeutic for me and I like to write screenplays and uh, books and stuff. So a man for all seasons. It helps refresh you. Yeah, I mean, all those seasons, it's like to do something else outside of the musical medium, I find really invigorates my musical life and helps me contact new realms of the human experience that I may have left out. And finally, before we get to hear what your music is all about, you have the most interesting style of guitar playing. I, I don't know. Maybe somebody else does that. Is there anyone else that does that besides you? Oh, I think it's, you're probably referring to the tapping. Yeah. So I'm going to do some of that later. I won't okay. start off with it. But yeah, that is something I completely stole from Michael Hedges, who maybe uh, you've heard of Michael Hedges or Stanley Jordan. Uh, there's a guitarist from Minneapolis named Billy McLaughlin. So there's kind of a subculture of guitarists who love that technique and are very much more adept at it than I am, actually. I'll do some of it later on. 
but I got it from Michael Hedges chiefly, yeah, who I miss a great deal. And I, I think he was from around this part of the country, wasn't he? Originally? I honestly don't know. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so that's a we'll shout out to, to Michael bring that Hedges. And find out, but yeah, we love him. Yeah. Uh, it, this is I can't wait to see that. But also, it's just great to have somebody here who's so interested in everything. You it's know, an amazing world. Channel. It's yeah. so wild to be a human being. I mean, really. To be a person on this planet at this time is, you know, you wake up in the circus, good and bad, every day. So I'm trying to make the most of that while I have the time. Well, thank you for being part of our day here in the Thank Bing you for Lounge. having me here. And, and so great to meet you. And welcome to Portland Likewise. for your stay through Sunday, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> right. I will be floating right. back home on Sunday. <laughs> Stuart Davis in the Bing Lounge. <laughs>